with me, the science guru, Mr. Muriana. Come with me as we learn another episode of chemistry. In today's lesson, we are looking at electronic configuration. So, what does the word electronic configuration mean? So, this is just how many electrons each shell of an atom can hold. So, if we have four shells of an atom, or we can go up to the fifth shell of an atom, yeah? So now, and you have been taught to say, write the configuration of that atom. So, the rule is simple. The first shell of an atom can only hold up to two electrons. The second shell of an atom can only hold up to eight electrons. The third shell, eight, fourth shell, eight, fifth shell, eight, six, eight, seven, eight, just like that. Now, I want you to take note of this. These electrons are dependent with the number of electrons that that atom has. So now, example. Write the electronic configura uh, configuration of the following element. You have calcium, 20 electrons, 40, the neutron number and the neutron number or the mass number. 16 electrons, uh, 8 electrons, the neutron number is 16. 17 electrons, neutron number, it is 35.5. When I'm, talking of, when I'm talking of the neutron number, I don't mean the nucleus. Please, this is not an error, no. Mm -mm. We continue. We say, write the configuration of this. So I said, I'm writing the configuration of caution. I come. Caution. 20, then 40. So I'm using them, I'm using the proton number. So the first shell of an atom can only hold up to two electrons. Second shell, eight electrons. Yeah. Then if you if you notice what is two plus what is two plus eight to give us ten? Then what is twenty minus ten to give us ten? Meaning that we have we have removed ten electrons from the twenty that remaining with the eight. So the other shell of an atom it can hold up to again eight electrons. So if we add up these to give us eighteen, how many are we remaining with this side? We're remaining with the two. So don't write eight. Write the two that are remaining here. Then we come to the next one, oxygen. Eight, 16. So first shell of an atom can only hold up to two. How many are we remaining with if we subtract two minus eight, six? Bring the six, don't write eight there. Then we come to chlorine. We say 17 there. So first shell, we know it's two. Second shell, we know it's eight there. Then we say, what is two plus eight is 10? How many are, we, are, are remaining this side if we remove the 10 electrons from the 17? We are remaining with seven, just bring the seven. Yeah, so that is the configuration of that atom. Then, the atomic structures. When drawing the atomic structures, first, write the configuration of the element. Then, example, draw the structures of Calcium, oxygen, and chlorine. We can say structures. So we uh, drain the structures. Drain the structures of calcium, calcium, oxygen, and chlorine. Calcium, oxygen, and chlorine. So we are going to say that structure of calcium. Remember, this is 20. So the configuration is 2, 8, yeah, 8, 2. So the structure becomes, bring the symbol, calcium. Introduce the nucleus. So these two electrons, bring them inside the nucleus. The other shell, put the eight electrons. The other shell, put the other eight electrons. The last shell put the two electrons. 
just like that. You have written the diatomic structure. We come to oxygen. So this is oxygen. This is uh, 8 there. And this is 16. So we know that this is 2, this is 6. So we say, oh, first shell is 2. Second shell, it is 6. Just like that. Don't add any information. Then we come to chlorine. We know it is 17.8545. Don't use the mass number. Don't use the mass number. No. You are using the proton number or the number of electrons. Configuration 2, 8, 7. So just draw the structure. Bring the symbol. Introduce the nucleus. Put the 2 for this. Put the 8 for that. And introduce the seven. Just like that. So just look at the next slide. <coughs> so in in this slide, we are looking at uh, the first twenty elements of the periodic table. So now the first twenty. How do you know the first twenty? So I summarize the first twenty elements of the periodic table in five words. So the first word it is Aihiribe. Followed by Bocanyox, Fronisoma, Alucifosis, Chapoca. So, this represents hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, baron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium. The first 20 elements of the periodic table summarized by the guru. So we come. Element, symbol, proton number, then configuration. The element it is hydrogen. So the symbol it is H. Then helium symbol H E. Lithium, that beryllium, that baron, that carbon, C, nitrogen, and oxygen. Oh, that neon, Na, sodium, Na, magnesium, Mg, then aluminium, that silicon, you have the, you have the S there. Then proton number, it is one because it's on number one according to this arrangement. This is two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight oxygen. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Then configuration this becomes 1, configuration this becomes 2, configuration this becomes 2, comma 1, configuration 2, 2, configuration 5, 2, 3, configuration 6, 2, 4, configuration 7, 2, 5, Configuration 8, 2, 6, configuration 9, 2, 2, we have uh, 2, 7, configuration 10, 2, 8, configuration 11, 2, 8, 1, 12, 2, 8, 2, this, 2, 8, 3, then we have got this here, we got 2, 8, so these are the first 20 elements. So these are not 20. These are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are going up to 14. So I want you, according to this, what I've given you, hydrogen, helium, lithium, beryllium, baron, carbon, nitrogen, oxygen, fluorine, neon, sodium, magnesium, aluminium, silicon, phosphorus, sulfur, chlorine, argon, potassium, calcium. I want you to, to write the last four that are remaining. So this has been the science guru, your tutor. Take care, stay blessed.